Come, all you people, young and old, I pray you to draw near. It's all the merchant's daughter who lived in Gloucestershire. Her cheeks are like the roses and her face appears to smile. This maiden's name was lovely Jane, the Rose of Britain's Isle. This maid she was her mother's pride, her father's only joy. Until she fell in love with the father's prentice boy. He was young, tall and handsome and her heart he did beguile. By all above he swore he'd love the Rose of Britain's Isle. When her old aged father heard that he was caught in her, he wrung his hands and tore his hair most bitterly did swear. Before you bring disgrace on me, I'll send you many the mile, in great disdain across the main from the Rose of Britain's Isle. So Edwin went on board the ship all fought across the main, while Jane alone in anguish long the bosom made repain. She dressed herself in man's attire, and after a little while, on board the ship with Edwin went the Rose of Britain's Isle. As they were crossing the coast of Spain, the enemy gave alarm. T'was by a pole young Jane did fall and wounded her right arm. The sailors ran to lend a hand, and then they had to smile, for they did swear by all on board was a Rose of Britain's Isle. When Edwin saw young Jane fall down, it filled his heart with pain. To see his love lie wounded, vowed to cross the sea again. As soon as she'd recovered, well, a journeyed many the mile. Back home again with Edwin, when the Rose of Britain's Isle. Her father now been dead and gone, the joys will now relate. For he's willed a handsome fortune, likewise a large estate. So married they were, and the bells did ring, and now they live in style. And happy is young Edwin, now the Rose of Britain's Isle.